ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Globe Trotters! What I like to do for the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, we are accepted into a location somewhere in the world. We got to move around, figure out where we are. We got five shots at a perfect score of 5,000 points. And look at that. Great score yesterday. Can we beat 23K, folks? Let's find out. As always, no Googling, only guessing. Because I know you're dirty and I know you're Googlers. No, no Googling, you dirty Googlers. This looks like volcanic mountain range. All right, south. Sun is in the south northern hemisphere. We're going around the mountain curves. Okay, we've got a shack. What do we learn from this? That uh, is a BMW. It's a very nice BMW. Man, look at this countryside. Glorious. Dude, that view is epic. Wow, what are we thinking here? The only thing that's throwing me off is the color of the trees. You think it's Switzerland? Looks like Alps? Okay. I can dig it. I can dig it. I like those cutouts for the lookouts. Do we have any Swiss in the chat who might like to confirm or deny? Hey, thank you, Bart. Yeah. I feel pretty lucky, man. I feel pretty blessed. To be hanging out with everybody. 100K. Yes, this is the sample from regulators. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Gross Glockner. Kaiser Franz. Joseph Hoher. Wasserreich. Kamsgrubenweg. It's Austria, okay? Austria. What part of Austria? Where's Gross Glockner? Okay, we got a lot of Austria gets here. Where do we know where Gross Glockner is? What part of the country? Where are my German and Austrian fellows? Schnell near Innsbruck. Innsbruck is there. What direction from Innsbruck? There's a sign to my left. Ah, thank you. Doi. A11, A... Okay, A10, A11. Uh, A10, A11? I see A13. Do I see A10? A13. Austrian 12. It's to the right of Innsbruck? Okay. How far? There? Like right where I am? I see it. Gross Glockner! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, question number two. Okay, interesting. This is like a dry riverbed or a washout. Language. Yeah, Cyrillic alphabet. Odessa, does that say? Does that say Odessa? Have you had Netherlands before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We got a couple of Dutch gets in the past. Is that did that say Odessa, folks? Obest. Where's Obest? Not. Do we know Obest? Ivanovich can read the Russian, which is super helpful. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for being here. And getting LB with the Russian guest. Not the old worst. Oh, Leona. Leona is uh, keeping, keeping the puns alive. Thank you. We needed that. Not a place I know. Okay. That's fine. Do we think it's Ukrainian? Or do we think it's Russian? Eh. 
Very beautiful countryside. Let's go. Let's go to Siberia. Ah, oh, man. Urals, maybe. So, like, this massive piece of Earth. Might be the Urals. Ukraine's pretty flat. Kazakhstan? Okay. Actually? Or are you just saying Kazakhstan because you want to? Where's O best? Where's O worst? I don't know. Okay, what happens if I go this way? So we're on a river. We're facing northeast. Okay, that's going to help. That's going to help right there. What are all of those flags? Okay, does that say Kazakhstan? I don't know that it does. Somebody help me read this. 20 seconds on the clock, folks! Come on, Ivanovich. We're tapping you in. 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, something. A333 is too late. We don't know. Ah, 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 that's time in the round. Ah, fuck. All right. Not bad. We are we, we in Mongolia. We're on the border. Okay. So we're in a town called Mondi, which is on the Mongolian Russian border. By Irkutsk and Lake Baikal, folks. <laughs> Question number three. <laughs> Kazakhstan, greatest country in the world. All other countries run by little girl. <laughs> uh, pretty close? Yeah, well, for Russia, it was pretty close. Okay, so we have a city. We have a city to the north. Uh, we have ocean. So we're on a hill overlooking a city that's to the north and then ocean. We also have a massive traffic jam. No, that's parking. And they're parking on the wrong side. So this is Australia, New Zealand. It's a very, it's a fairly large city. What happened? A uh, fairly large city. Brazil, you think? Oh, everyone's parking every which way. Okay. You think that's Brazil? Where's the sun? Sun position? Yeah, sun's north. No, this is southern hemisphere. Okay, I guess it could still be Brazil. You think that's Brazil? You think that's Rio? Another great dogging spot. Okay. That gentleman looks like he could be Brazilian. Let me get down off this mountain. Why are all these people parked on the side of the road? Buses only. Okay, language is English. So I'm going to go with Australia. Not Brazil. Language is English. Oh, I think it's Joburg. No, Joburg isn't on the ocean. Joburg isn't on the ocean, though. Plus, we'd see more African-looking people. Are these fairly African-looking people, I guess? I can, okay, I can see this being Africa, but I don't think it's Joburg. Looks more like Cape Town. Right, because Cape Town is actually on the ocean. You think that's Cape Town? Does Cape Town have, like, a bay? It does have a bay. Ooh, it does have a bay. So if we're looking north... No, that's the one thing though. It can't be Cape Town because of unless it's unless it's here and we're looking that way. Maybe that's where we are. Yes. Those are the piers there. We are here. We're looking this way, aren't we? Aren't we? I like this. This I think we get really close. Okay, this is Cape Town, South Africa is what we are going with. And we're heading out of the... Something like that. Woodstock, look for hippies. Oh, shit. Let's run a winding road up in the mountains, overlooking, we're facing north. Yeah, South Africa, I like. I like for this. Cape Town, where they make capes. Good one. City of Cape Town! Confirmed! How close are we? Is that a 5K? Give me close. 
Oh, not 5K. Not fucking bad. Cape Town, South Africa, folks. Good job. That was fun. Question number four. Holy hydrangeas. Look at the beautiful, beautiful hydrangeas on both sides of the road. Buongiorno, Victor. Thanks, uh, thanks, man. Congrats, Andre K. Thank you, sir. Man, is that not the most beautiful side of the road? A fucking buttload of hydrangeas, as far as the eye can see. Blue hydrangeas. Do you know how you make hydrangeas change color? So most flowers are just whatever color they are, but with hydrangeas, it's actually um, moo. We got a bunch of cows. With hydrangeas, they actually are all white, but they change color based on the acidity of the soil. So blue hydrangeas, I think, are basic, whereas red hydrangeas or purple hydrangeas are acidic. Did you know that? No, you didn't, because none of you did gardening for 20 years and wasted your life away in the salt mines. But now I have 100K subs on YouTube, folks. Now I have 100K subs on YouTube. I don't have to mow the lawns anymore. Thank you, folks, for saving the peatman's life. I put a literal curve into my spine mowing lawns. Uh, all right, what do we got? Language? What do you think this gentleman is up to? What kind of type of caper do we suppose he's in? This is heaven. It's beautiful. Absolutely, we're inside of a garden or a park that I can tell you, and it looks like Europe. My gut would say Europe here, but we don't have any language yet. Any language at all? I'm sure this isn't Wonderland, yeah. Okay, could be Asia too. Wouldn't shock me if this was Asia. We need some kind of language, otherwise, we're fucked. Could this be China? Sun is can't tell. I really don't have any like in inclination as to where this is. So, if someone wants to help me, now would be the time. We are running out of time in the round. We are going to absolutely pooch this question if we don't have the country at least. New Zealand, okay. London, Scotland, really. This actually looks like Scotland to you? Somewhere in South America. See, everyone's all over the place. We're all all over the place. Um, I like China as well. That's actually where I'm leaning. Uh, I think that's it for me. China, we go. But it's very low confidence. Lapland, we're all over with this. Everyone's everywhere. Weird. We were in the Azores? Okay, we were on the Azores. <laughs> Nobody had that. <laughs> okay, sorry, you can film at it. Portugal, you can film at it the last second. We were in the Azores. That's so weird. That is so strange. Uh, that's not true that only Hong Kong and Taiwan are on GeoGuessr. I've had, I've had China gets before. I've had like Beijing and Guangdong and stuff. Uh, final question. Final question. These are all vistas. These are all mountain vistas. Uh, <laughs> Leona says these assholes get to me all the time. Oh, Leona. Goodness gracious me. No way I caught Pete live. Welcome in, Hell's Diplomat. You certainly did, sir. You certainly did. We're driving on the right. We've got orange license plates. We're in a mountain range. Sun is... Sun is... West, northwest. Okay, so southern hemisphere. But as far as... Language! Yes, give me language. Turnouts ahead. English language. Stop to cool... Your brakes, not Chile. English language. Could this be USA?
Mount Washington. Where's Mount Washington? Australia? Go back to the vehicle. The vehicle is a GMC Sierra. You think it's New Zealand, Australia? That's Maine. Mount Washington's in Maine? There's so many Mount Washingtons. Okay. New Hampshire. What part of the state? Mount Washington. Yeah. Okay. Do you think there are other Mount Washingtons? Cool your brakes. Cool it. I realize that cracking a beer before I've eaten anything today uh, is making this uh, this one making me far far drunker than I would have expected. Pike's Peak. You see that whole family posing for Google? Sure. These guys up here. It's definitely New Hampshire. I recognize the signs and the style of signs. All right, so we are around Mount Washington on New Hampshire. That's great. We're going to end on a strong note. And that will be good for the daily challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. 100% USA. Definitely not USB. Congrats on 100 case. Thanks, big ner bird nerd. That's <laughs> a big nerd. Thanks, bird nerd, TJ. Why are you a bird nerd? Are you an ornithologist? 15,411. What did we fucking pooch it on? Oh, no. We pooched on the Azores. We picked China. <laughs> what the fuck was that? But you know what we're not going to pooch it on? It's my home. My hometown. What's my favorite bird? Um, the duck. AGO. Yes. Okay, I know exactly where we're on McCall. That's Dundas. The AGO is the Art Gallery of Ontario. And look at this crazy, crazy. This is a college, now university. Um, look at the architecture of this addition they put on a couple years ago. So it's this floating box in the sky. It's really cool, right? So this is the AGO. It's now called OCAD University. Um, OCAD is attached to the Art Gallery of Ontario. And look, it's just on stilts, this whole, and that's an escalator that gets you up into it, right? So this was the old building, and then they built this ridiculous addition on top that kind of like floats in the sky. What an interesting, for, for an art school, <laughs> right? What a creative choice. I love it. Isn't that neat, guys? It's cool that we spawn into something in Toronto that I, A, know where we are immediately so I can show you around a bit, and B, actually is like a really cool sort of representat representation of something neat in the city, right? What an awesome building. That's cool, but it looks strange. That's the point. It's an art school. Uh, <laughs> it looking strange is the point. This guy just doesn't know anything about art. I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, we got Dundas and McCall. Give me McCall. Is that this alley here that we're right by? Ah, I was in a work meeting. I missed under here. Don't worry. I'll put it up. I'll put that moment up in the, uh, in the video too. Desco. Uh, Value Village. I know where we are. This is Vic Park, right? Ferncrest and Vic Victoria Park and Van Horn. Yes. Victoria Park. Van Horn is north of Shepherd. Uh, no. Uh, Van Horn is south of Finch. Ferncrest. Yeah. All right. So we're by here. We're at this gas station. Uh, we're 
actually exactly where the gas station lets out. So, whoopah. Question number three. Bernard says, uh, not sure if you caught it. It's a joke from Jackass. My last name is Vogelar, bird watcher in Dutch. Nice. In a Jackass episode, they called a bird watcher a bird nerd. So ever since then, it's my nickname. Right on, man. I get that. What was your favorite Jackass movie? I like the one where they put Steve-O in the... Uh, <laughs> Where they put Steve-O in the fucking porta potty and they filled it with dog shit. And then he put him on a catapult and the poo just, <laughs> just floats up into his fucking face. <laughs> Don Valley Brickworks. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> so dumb. Poor guy. Imagine what this man fucking did to himself. All right, what's the... Co- Don Valley Brickworks. I actually don't know exactly where I am. Is this the Bayview extension? This is the Bayview extension. Yes. Evergreen Brickworks. What the fuck? I'm so, I'm disoriented. Okay. So train tracks heading Northeast. This is the Bayview extension, right? This is the Bayview extension. Yes. No, I still, I don't have it. Oh, pardon me. Bayview extension to the North end. Thank you, silently. Pottery Road. Okay. So we are south of Pottery Road on the Bayview Extension. <coughs> so this is Bayview. This is Pottery Road. This is Evergreen Brickworks. And I've never actually been there. That's why. So that's how you get in. Okay. So we are also south of that. We are south of that, Don Valley Brickworks, which means we're like, it's actually going to be hard to reckon. Yeah, like something like that, right? Nice. I love all my Torontonians stepping up. Thanks, guys. Uh, Question number four. Because we have a ravine on the right-hand side. These houses face the ravine instead of back onto it, which is always tragic, in my opinion. Right? Wouldn't you love to have that be your backyard? Um... That's something I've always wanted is to have a, a ravine backyard. It's something that I have personally, like I have a cherry tree in my yard, hove and bitroot. Um, and I know the cherry tree wouldn't have been a big draw for most people, but when I saw the house, it was winter and I knew it was a cherry tree right away. And it's big. It's like a 70 year old cherry tree and the fruit is good. And that was a value add for me, right? Not necessarily for anyone just looking at the home, but. I definitely got a place that was way nicer than I thought I could could afford, which is also a hove, also a nice touch. Um, okay, bitroot and hove. I'm my vibe here is that we are by the lake in Scarborough, so I'm heading. That's why am I heading south then? I should be going north. Instead, I'm just infinitely going west. Okay, is this a major? Yeah, it's a semi-major. This is Scarborough. Where are the street signs, guys? Tubby Tryhard is here. Get out of here. How you been, Tubby? How you been, brother? You're such a badass. Thanks, bro. What's going on in your life, man? This is former rank number one risk player, Tubby fucking Tryhard in the chat. I haven't seen you in a long ass time, man. How are you? All right. We got Shepard. And Faywood. Shepard and Faywood. This isn't where I thought we would have been at all. Matthew Law is here. You're talking about my current house? (laughs) I'm not saying anything. No, personally identifying it. I'm trying to dox myself like I need to hold that. Uh, (coughs) Beautiful nails. Happy Feet Spa. You know, I had my first pedicure of my life a couple weeks ago. They took off so much foot meat and foot cheese. Goddard, I am lost. I am utterly, utterly lost. I got distracted by Tommy Tryhard. We have a celebrity on the stream. Let's get Tryhard on the stream instead of this schmuck. Thanks, Baldwin. (laughs) Thanks, bro. Oh, fuck. Shepard and what? 
I don't know where Shepard and fucking Faywood. Fuck. I, I choke, folks. I choke. Shepard and Faywood. Shepard. Now. Shit. Faywood? It's over here, isn't it? It's, it's by Bathurst, I think. Yeah, it was by Bathurst. Okay. Okay. At least I, I didn't get confused by Scarborough. And final question. It was kind of Willowdale. Yeah. So it's, uh, what's this called? It's called Bathurst Manor is the neighborhood. We were on this ravine here side, which is fine. I, I needed to go south is what I didn't do. Um, instead of continuing to go west into a grid, endless suburbia. Question number five. Um, and then I would have gotten in from Faywood. S Glen Everest. Okay. Glen Everest. We have a baseball diamond. First pedicure, did I wear my sexiest panties? Listen, listen, Arkin. Something happened to me in the six months since I stopped doing manual labor, and it's called a chronic case of fat phocitis. So if I can't properly groom my feet anymore because I wheeze and cough when I try and bend over because I'm an old fat man, you'll forgive me if I have some small Vietnamese lady Great, all of the foot cheese off of my heels. Thank you very much, sir. You'll forgive me. Kingston Road and Birchmount. <laughs> Maybe Arkin won't forgive me, but the rest of you, you'll forgive me. I know you want to practice R9. No, I want to practice um, R2. I, I want to practice tournaments that I'm in. I'm not old well. I'm I'm currently struggling with the uh, realization that not having a physical labor job is really affecting my overall health and fatness. Uh, Danforth. That's not Danforth. That's Kingston. Kingston Road. Kingston Road. Birchmount. Okay. And where did we spawn? We spawned Glen Everest. So we're on Kingston Road? Where's Glen Everest? <laughs> Heading northeast on what? We're on Danforth, you think? Not Kingston? Kingston and Cliffside. there man i got that just in the nick of time <laughs> holy shit congrats on her k thank you thanks so much. hey pete how you doing fat ass how you doing spud did you see the celebrations or were you sleeping uh focus says i'm gonna be in to again for a few months my friend directed me to an area called mcleck Near Kensington. McCleck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just woke up. What did I miss? You missed. Ah, it's okay. McCleck, my balls. Oh, he got me. No. It was a, it was a thinly veiled lick my balls joke, folks. How dare you how did i fucking choke on faywood road Ugh. ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and until next time wherever you find yourself in this big old world i wish you the very best <laughs>